What up, Nick from Fisherman Source? Could be argued that darters are one of the most productive big fish plugs. I'm just going to kind of go over what we have in the shop. There's a lot of wood ones. They're all different. Super Strikes, Tactical Angler, Sub Darter, Super Strike Zigzag. There's also North Bar darters, which are, I would call, sort of similar to TA darters. They're a little, a little deeper. They make a bigger one. make a couple different sizes. The Super Strike is one size. That's all. This is the standby. This is what I'm throwing 90% of the time. Uh, I do have a couple wood darters that I really love that kind of have a little swim as well, uh, a little, little wiggle. Just for reference, Dirty Mermaid darter. It has a little, little swim and a, a regular dart. But a darter is meant to be fished in current. Some people think you have to fish them in current. That's not exactly true. My, one of my friends routinely fishes them in dead water and outfishes everybody. Um, but I like to get them into some current, dig it in, a couple quick cranks, and it's all about pressure. You're not going to feel the, the rod tip vibrating like on a minnow plug or some metal lips. or You're not going to feel that. You have to go all off line pressure and what it feels like coming through the blank of your rod to kind of know that it's working but trying to fish it as slow as you can it's just sit, sitting in the current and then every once in a while it'll wander it's just sitting there and then it'll just kind of dart literally and wander off and then kind of get back in line and do its thing and wander again probably something about that pretty lazy action that big fish really like these are going to swim probably two to four feet deep these are swim a little bit deeper these are a bit heavier there's a big big profile anytime you have a current a current sweep uh, in a river or inlet or on the beach good ocean sweep and you can dig it in and let it swing in the current that's a good situation to have a darter and uh you know tackle wise i'd recommend a good sturdy somewhat moderate nine foot rod and nine or ten foot rod 30 pound braid 40 to 60 pound liter these plugs cast incredibly well some of my favorite plugs like metal lips big big plugs don't necessarily cast as well so sometimes when distance is a factor which at times it can be the, the super strike darter is second to none um, in terms of ability to stoke bites and get to where they are. Color-wise, white, purple. I love black over gold. Yellow over white or yellow is another favorite. And I'm kind of liking this new color, this copper or whatever they call it. This is a mag darter. Incredibly popular, incredibly productive plug. This is not a darter. This is a minnow plug that has a real tight action. But it will have a little little wander. This is what I would call a swimming minnow plug. A lot of confusion on that. Figured I'd clear it up. Darters are not much of swimmers. If you looked at it right in front of you, it really doesn't do much. It really comes to life when you have a ton of line out and you have some moving water and that double cut lip can do its thing over that sloped head and cause that thing to do irregular movements that trigger bites. Until next time, we'll see you.